has been rolling with me for about, what, two years now? <laughs> yeah. Some shit like that. He won the 2017 Late Comedy Showdown at AX, which Woo! is actually harder than I'm making it sound. <laughs> um, motherfucker came all the way down from Los Angeles two hours ago. Everyone, give it up for my suit! <laughs> Today's my birthday, actually. Woo! Um, I'm a stand up comedian. I do shows at the comedy store, Ice House, Laugh Factory, and I usually can't do anime and nerd jokes and stuff like this. So anytime I get a chance, I come out. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I did a picture earlier in Little Tokyo. Ronnie uh, Khan, if y'all know about that. And it was really dope, but um, I'm going to get serious with y'all for a moment. I saw some sad shit. Uh, <laughs> oh, here we go again. Oh, like yeah, like, you see her cosplay and titties is popping out. I wish I could have got some cosplay like that. Uh, <laughs> I saw some sad cosplay. I saw this little black boy, right? Oh. Just little, just little, hey, I was like, little cute nigga. <laughs> and he was cosplaying as his favorite anime character. And I was like, that's dope, man. Uh, but when I paid attention a little more, there was something wrong. Because his favorite character was from Dragon Ball Z. Can y'all guess who he was? Oh, he was Mr. Popo. <laughs> no! No! Y'all no! laughing, I didn't even tell you the funny part. He was black, but he had black face on the thing. <laughs> can make some shit, the hybrid is the best of both worlds, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but with that, I got hybrid problems, you know, like, like, his favorite character, he likes anime. I was worried he wasn't gonna like anime, because I named him after a Marvel, Marvel comic book character. His name's Rennie, he's named after Gambit. So I'm like, that's kind of, uh, he might go American, fuck that, son. Um, but he likes anime, it's good, it's good. But the characters that he likes, uh, hybrid problems, okay? Um, how can I explain this? Uh, we'll stick with Naruto. He likes Zetsuo. You know who Zetsuo is? Bad guy. Yeah, yeah, he's a bad guy, but I've only seen this nigga in the anime three times. He pops up, he reports some shit, and he goes back down. I'm like, little nigga, how is your favorite character this guy? And he says some sad shit. He was like, well, dad, I'm half black. <laughs> shit, I never saw it. Guy looks like he's literally like half black. <laughs> Sticking to Naruto. I'm like, nah, nigga, you can't like him. You gotta like somebody else. <laughs> he you noticed the cloud. You know, he's like, well, you know what? I like Itachi. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> if y'all aren't saying stuff like them, Itachi killed his whole fucking clan. <laughs> For no reason, really. They said he might do some shit. They said the Uchiha's might do some shit. And he slaughtered them all. Baby, kids, dogs. If you had that flag on the back, he was eh, eh, eh. That scares me. My son's three. I'll be waking up in the middle of the night like, Nick, what you doing over here? Oh, he's blonde hair and blue eyes. Okay, all right, my bad. <laughs> That's the feeling about anime, like even in Dragon Ball. To beat the villain, they have to go Super Saiyan. <laughs> Super Saiyan is blonde hair and blue eyes. You're telling me that I have to go Nazi to win? <laughs> He walked up to me because I guess he didn't think I was part of the anime convention. 
<laughs> and he tried to have one of them moments where he was just like, see all these fucking guys who dressed up and uh, they want to be Japanese, uh, look at this, this is stupid, you get me uncovered boy, oh shit, <laughs> I was like, time out, he was like, could you imagine if you just rolled over after Pearl Harbor, we'd all be speaking Japanese, oh, oh shit, and I was like, oh, hey, no, 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 I looked up at him and I was like, you talking to the wrong nigga, that'd be cool, could you imagine, <laughs> with Pearl Harbor, because I want to speak Japanese. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, 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 my God. Woo! Woo! You guys ever seen Peppa Pig? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, what? What? We went from Nazis at Pearl Harbor and Peppa Pig? And I got to say, like, that's, I can't watch anime that as much as I used to. Huh? That little bitch wild. Thank you! I love you! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Boy! <laughs> no, I said this shit the last time they got mad at me. I was like, fuck that bitch, Peppa Pig. You gonna call a little pig a bitch? Like, fuck that bitch, man. <laughs> she didn't taught my son bad habits. My son had good habits. He was watching Sid the Science Kid and Super Wyatt and just asking questions and learning. Started watching Peppa Pig. You guys just doing stupid shit now. Peppa Pig is rude. Watch him, okay? All right, let me give you an example. I'm gonna give you an example. I'm potty training. The only way to potty train a boy is to like show him what you're doing. All right. Go through the thing. I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. I'm skinny, but I'm out of shape. <laughs> I watch anime all day. I don't run. I had to run over there and give him dap. <laughs> Usually the niggas come to me. Um, but yeah, so I'm in the bathroom and. Mind you, this is bad too because I want him to learn to shake. So whenever I'm done, I go shake, shake, shake. I was peeing in the bathroom and the guy was next to me and I said it out loud, shake, shake, shake. <laughs> he was mid pee. I don't understand how he stopped it to go to the other year. I was like, hey, teach me that. <laughs> but um, so I'm standing there and I know everybody's like, why is he holding it? Like, hey, I'm not gonna exaggerate if I want to. Y'all don't know me. Um, <laughs> So I pulled it out and I peed, and my son was like, ugh, that's disgusting. Oh. He, doesn't, he doesn't talk like this, and I'm like, where did he learn this shit? Peppa Pig, she says this all the time. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. This is disgusting. It made me feel bad because he was talking about my dick. So I, was like, I don't care if you're three, little nigga. Nah. My dick's disgusting. He's like, yeah, that's disgusting. I'm like, nigga, you came from my dick. <laughs> Son, that he came from a disgusting place. Look, we can talk about it. <laughs> you told me I got free reign to be a good daddy, so leave me alone. I cannot. I came all the way from LA. Like I used to be a street racer, no joke. Like from the age of 14 to about 17 until I got arrested. Um, I used to race in Bakersfield. My uncle's a gangbanger. He's I can't. My uncle's like Scar from The Lion King. I thought the nigga was cool, but then when I got older, I started looking back and was like, oh shit. I didn't even like me. So I, I used to be a street racer. There was really nothing. I got here in an hour and my, I got here about an hour 45. No, hour and a half. Hour and a half, exactly. Yeah. Why? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you <laughs> And you look at it, bring a Subaru. Um, <laughs> I was going to talk to Corolla today. Um, damn, I, don't, I want to do a, a dick joke because I got a minute. But um, they did that dick joke. Two minutes? Okay, I got to do this dick joke then. I did some little Boko no Pico type shit. I'm not saying that to be like, just because he said it, and I'm, it's not going to be that type of joke, I swear. I didn't mean to. As a father, any fathers here? No fathers here? All right, I'm about to teach y'all something. Anybody got kids? Anybody got kids? No? Okay, I'm about to really teach y'all something. All right. So my son, hybrid problems, um, he woke up, he pooped in the middle of the night. Now, that made me ask a lot of questions. He was dream shitting. Could you imagine dream shitting? <laughs> like, yes. that's all bad. Like, yeah. But then at the same time, it sounds wonderful, doesn't it? Like, no. everything's better in a dream. Everything's better until you wake up. Everything's better in a dream. That's the best shit I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> when he has a diaper, so I, I, 
<laughs> this shit was so bad, it woke me up from the middle of the night and I had to change the diaper. What? You, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but baby boys, they get erections. Uh, yeah. No joke, they get yeah. little baby hard dicks. <laughs> this is against God to me, because what are you going to do with a little baby dick? It's, like, it's so off-putting to me, like, what are, you, what are you waiting for? What are you going to do? What am I putting around? What am I going to do with this little thing? This is bullshit. Even worse, when men, men, when you wake up in the morning, what happens? You have a hard dick. He's waking up, he has just full of red with baby shit all over <laughs> No pico moment because I have to clean baby shit with a little napkin of a hard red baby penis. Even worse, my wife wakes up, looks, and laughs. Bitch, you need to be. Come on, help me in here. I ended up in the shower like that scene from Ace Ventura just with my clothes on. I'm like, <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate everything. 